Hey parents, Carmine here with your video review of Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn is my favorite game so far this year. It's going to be really tough for anything else to compete with this. In it, you play as Aloy, a young woman who is considered an outcast in her society because she is an orphan. The world is a strange combination of primitive weapons, hunter-gatherer societies, and simple city-states, but with remnants of modern and near-future technology, and littered with robotic animals and dinosaurs. It's an incredible sight. You start in a land with relatively peaceful robots with recognizable shapes. There's a robotic horse, there's a robotic deer, and so on and so forth. But by the end of the game, you're fighting behemoths and stormbirds and giant T-Rex-like robots with rockets and lasers. There is very little in the way of mature content. Violence is the most prominent factor, but that's not really saying much. For the most part, the player will hunt and kill robots. This involves using very primitive weapons to chip and tear away at metal armor until the beast eventually comes down. The creatures start out smaller and somewhat familiar, looking a bit like real creatures, but some of the beasts in the later game are gigantic and definitely inspire a small spark of fear when seen. Aside from this, the player will have to attack human enemies in certain areas and missions, but these encounters are much less frequent than the robotic attacks. Hits to enemies that are human will result in some blood, but no gore. The player can take down both robotic and human enemies with stealth executions, but these aren't guaranteed to kill an enemy, and there's no significant increase in blood when using these against human enemies. The player can gather plants to fill a medicine pouch and use that medicine to heal. There are also a number of potions the player can use which have various effects, usually surrounding healing or damage resistance. There's no obvious animation for using medicines or potions, and there are references to alcohol and possibly other substances, but the player can't consume any of those. There was also something called the Shard Gambler's Box, which the player could buy from merchants. This was a way for the player to pay a few shards to potentially earn a decent amount more back. It's a very light form of gambling, but was very easy and did have a positive rate of return. In the early game, I picked up every Shard Gambler's Box that I could, but once I reached the mid to late game, I found I no longer needed them. But what stood out the most to me was the strength of the female protagonist. I don't mean the physical strength, although Aloy must have plenty of it considering she takes down dozens of giant metal beasts. I mean the strength of will and conviction. Even in this era of video games, a time when games have intricate, complicated stories, where games like Telltale's The Walking Dead or Heavy Rain can give us what is essentially an interactive movie with deep, complicated characters, it's still extremely rare for a game to feature a strong female protagonist. And on top of that, this game didn't include any romance options, and that really surprised me. Maybe I'm just too used to playing Bioware games, but I was waiting for the moment when some of the male characters would hit on Aloy and she would flirt back, but that never really came. In fact, there were plenty of times when characters would look down on her because of her gender or nationality, and she would give a decent helping of subtle yet well-deserved sass right back. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Horizon Zero Dawn is a Zelda-like adventure game for the PS4. I highly recommend it. Due to the lack of significant mature content, we gave this game a recommended age of 8 years old, and that's almost entirely because I think it may be too difficult for anyone younger than that. And even then, I've heard many of my adult gamer friends talk about how difficult the game was for them. Personally, I had no trouble with it, but your experience may vary. I believe this is a great adventure game appropriate for all ages, and if it isn't high up on your list already, it absolutely should be. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 is currently winning in my Patreon poll, but there's still time left to vote. So click on the link to my Patreon page in the description below if you want to cast your vote. I'm also working on an extra video right now, so look for that and more coming soon.